at the same time, our job is to convince the insurance company to pay the most. Right. And if they don't, you know, if they're not treating you fairly, then we might go to the jury process. Right. Every case truly is so different because there's so many factors. You know, how bad were you hurt? Um, how, how much were your medical bills? How much are your lost wages? How good of a recovery have you made? How much is the other person's insurance coverage? Do you have, you know, uninsured? And where did coverage? it occur? Where did it happen? What, yeah. you know, what's the jury going to, a jury in you know, certain parts of Missouri might be completely different than one in western Kansas. For sure. So where did it happen? Um, are you, is it affecting your day-to-day -day life? I mean, so you just, the list goes on and on and on and every one of those factors changes, changes the analysis in some way. And ultimately, I don't get to just tell the insurance company what your case is worth. I'd love to just unilaterally say to them, this case is worth X and you must accept it. But I can't do that. And they, on the other hand, can't say, no, it's not. It's worth this and you must accept it. Ultimately, a case is worth what, whatever 12 random people from whatever jurisdiction you happen to get injured in, whatever they think it's worth is what it ultimately is worth. And the only way to truly get the objectively right answer is to go all the way through trial. But at the same time, our job is to convince the insurance company to pay the most. Right. And if they don't, you know, if they're not treating you fairly, then we might go to the jury process. Right. Yeah, I find even, you know, different insurance companies handle cases very differently. So, you know, before we ever go to a lawsuit, which is where most cases end up settling, you know, we have a very different experience with the insurance company that we work with. And we draw from our experiences to know how to handle that particular insurance company. What buttons do we need to press? How do we do that? What evidence do they want to see? Um, and then we also know if we do go to a lawsuit, then what defense lawyers are going to be assigned in the case and how does that affect how the case is defended? What are they going to look for? What are they going to try to prove? Are they going to use the same playbook they usually do? Which, by the way, that's usually what they use. Um, so a lot of those things are important in every case. And then you have the different types of cases. You know, you have an, un an underinsured motorist case. That means that the person that caused the accident uh, doesn't have sufficient insurance to pay for your client's injuries. Um, or we have a you know, regular liability case against the insurance company for the person that was at fault because there is sufficient coverage. How that case may be postured in front of a jury uh, can dictate how we handle yeah. the case. In a normal case, for example, where we, let's say we can't settle a case against somebody's insurance company when they ran a stop sign, if we have to file a lawsuit in the case, we only name the driver of the car that's at fault, but it's their insurance company that's responsible for it. However, the insurance company's name never appears on the caption. So, and, and the idea there is that any jury that could ever see the case is not allowed to understand that there is insurance to pay for it. That's considered to be unfair. Um, so that kind of informs us on what we need to do in a regular liability case versus an underinsured motorist case where we can name the insurance company directly. So as Jesse said, there are so many moving parts. Every, um, every case has its individual circumstances. Our job is to pick up the patterns between cases and to use our experience to tie all that together to get the best result. I could tell a client, hey, I think your case could be worth this or is worth this, considering all those factors. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that's what a jury's going to award, and it's definitely not what the insurance company's going to pay. So, you know, that's a tough question, and, and it's kind of honestly an impossible question to answer. But our job is to, like Mason said, maximize that recovery. And, you know, I tell a lot of clients, I, I think your case might be worth this or a certain amount. But at the end of the day, um, it, it's unless we go to a lawsuit, it's worth as much as the insurance company will offer, will pay. Sometimes that's less when, than my evaluation, sometimes it's more. Right, and then the answer is, you know, it's, sometimes it's, I don't know exactly what it's worth, but I think it's worth more than this. Yeah, you know, that, well, we're, we're filing suit, you know. Yeah.